So apparently today is three national holidays. International Women's Rights Day, Play With Legos Day, my favorite, and the National Parks birthday. So I think to celebrate, we should all go to the national parks, give women some rights, am I right? And let them play with Legos. It's only fair. I found out all this useful information from the giant sinkhole that is Facebook. For the major part of my internet life, as you call it, that's, let's be real, that's what you call it. For the majority of that, I have only been on Instagram as my main social media. On Instagram, everything is linear until just now when they decided to wreck it all and not show the photos in chronological order, which is super dumb. But aside from that, I was on YouTube. I don't really count that as a social media. But I recently got on Facebook, and I was thoroughly confused when I started it. It, it was quite odd, to say the least. Facebook is weird for a number of reasons. First of all, it probably has the biggest age group on any social media platform. So good on you, Facebook. You, you did that. You have teens all the way up through like 90-year-olds, and they're all on this one website. It's super weird. You'll see a super dank meme one point, and then you'll see a recipe for English muffins. Which brings up the point of there's way too much stuff on Facebook. There's so many different kinds of content that you can post, and I feel like they should all not all be together in one giant bloated mess. The best way I can think of to describe Facebook is through its video system. If you'll notice, most of the videos you see that aren't linked from somewhere else are these videos with this text above and text below with like a white or black box and like 5,000 emojis and like the with the caption on the video, this is literally me or me when I'm driving or something like that. That's when you know that it is in fact a stolen video. If you go to YouTube and search probably the same thing, you will come up with a video. Except, wouldn't you know, it doesn't have the top or bottom or one or the other black or white bars. For some reason, people like to download a video from YouTube, take it, repost it with the bars, and say, oh man, look at this cool video I made. Which, if it was on YouTube, then that means you could monetize it. So not only is that stealing someone's video that they worked hard on, but it's also stealing possible money from them. Because most of the time on Facebook, it'll get 9 million views, which is insane, but most of those are just autoplay views, let's be real. And on YouTube, the video has like 100,000 views, and that's it. Which is still a good accomplishment, that's more than any of my videos have gotten and probably will ever get, but that's still theft. If you stole something out of a store, you could go to jail. This, this is the same principle. So that's how I would refer to Facebook. Is that sort of like a big, giant, bloated, everything's full of everything, people are stealing from people mess. Now, that's I'm still going to use Facebook. It's fun, okay? Not, whatever. It is it is what it is. But next time you see a video with white and black bars, remember, it's probably stolen. Also, what's the deal with the like system? Why are there like four different buttons for like? There's like, love and laugh what's what's with that that's that's only three but why that's those are all literally the same thing i don't get it facebook is confusing guys no i don't think anybody should try to explain it mm -hmm.